Definitely not clickbait. I'm actually going to talk to you about why I suck at YouTube. So let's dive right into this. I wanted to show you a graph of my total views for the last eight years. Yes, I've been doing this for eight years. And yes, I only have 441 subscribers. So let's take a look at a snippet and I'll show you what I've been through over the last eight years. So that was a fun walk down memory lane. It's really cool to see the progress that I've made. Lighting, sound, camera settings, all the things that go into making a video. It's amazing the amount that I've learned over the years. And I look forward to making some changes in the future. So let's get out of the studio. We're gonna go ahead and talk about that. Something I've learned over the years is that there are three things that every YouTube channel needs in order to succeed. One is going to be consistency. Two is to create engaging content. And three is going to be a value add or something to take away from the video. So let's talk about the first one, consistency. You want to consistently upload, either on a weekly basis, every other week, once a month. Just be consistent. Do it on the same day of the week and around the same time. This creates habits for people. People will look for your stuff on a regular basis and they'll keep coming back over and over again knowing that it's going to be there. Uh, you want to make this happen. What I've done is sporadically upload, random days, random times. Uh, you know, I've done it so many different times over the last eight years and I just never got to the point where I was consistent and that's something I'm going to be changing going forward. So second point, you want to create engaging content. You, know, you want to be entertaining. You want it to be fun. You want to make it interesting to watch. You know, yes, B-roll, slow motion B-roll is great. Uh, transitions, you know, showing people where you are and what it looks like around you all the different things that make it interesting but don't go too far how many people have you watched where you get into you know two minutes into a video and they still haven't gotten to the point of what the actual video is about you know don't go overboard but at the same time make it interesting to watch so that they stick around last but not least is the sun sets what is it people are expected to take away from my videos? That's the question I'm going to think about every time I make a video. What do I hope the people that are watching you are going to be learning from the video? What feeling are you going to have when you, you know, finish the video? I want to make sure you have a positive vibe, that you enjoy the rest of your day, and that you're thinking about what it is that I covered during that video. And you can take action, either a new accessory or, you know, a setting that you didn't understand or, you know, whatever it is. I have to think about what is it that the person that's watching is going to learn from or take away from the video that is just as important as everything else so that about wraps things up I appreciate it if you've made it this far uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button or click that bell so you can get notifications whenever I drop a video you'll get notified uh, I'd love to see uh, comments below. Let me know what you think, uh, suggestions for going forward, questions you have about the you know, Leica Q2, the Fuji X-T4, or the Nikon FE2, uh, or any topics around photography or videography. I'd love to hear your questions or suggestions. I'm totally open. So, till next time, take care.